The following effects can be achieved either through a dedicated meditative and yogic practice or through the use of psychedelic medicine. Ego death. This is exactly what Timothy Lear was talking about when he said complete transcendence of the self in the context of taking LSD. The Wikipedia definition of ego death is a complete loss of subjective self-identity. Ego is the nature of a human being. Ego is our operating system. It's our way to navigate through this reality as a functional being. So as long as you're not drowning in your ego, it's obviously not a bad thing. It is what makes us human. It's what these yogis and mystics and gurus say Day. after working with psychedelics or after just meditating in a cave or on a mountain somewhere for you know months at a time or years at a time they, they come back and they say that we're clinging to our thoughts and confusing that with ourselves we're confusing ourselves with our emotions with our pain or with with our happiness that we once had and we're chasing that back oh if I could only if I could only have this back then I would really be who I am but they come back and they say, this is all an illusion. Who you are actually is everything. And people all over the world, regardless of cultural background or social conditioning, are having these experiences of this ego death. Some are having it naturally and some are having it through working with different uh, drugs and medicines. Level one. Your social barriers and conditioning start breaking down. This fucker, all this propaganda and shit. Everything on TV, it dirties your soul and it dirties your mind, son, to make you think about shit that you don't need to think about. And that takes away from the power that you actually have because you're wasting your power on thinking about this or thinking about that. I'm tripping my fucking off on these shrooms, but I get it. Start having these realizations that life isn't what you thought it was and that who you are isn't who you thought you were. My life can be so beautiful if we just let it. And if only for a moment you have this realization that you are a part of something bigger than your body and bigger than your identity. And like I just went through this like weird like who is me? <laughs> like what is this and like what am I really? Like there's gotta be more. This can be a really emotional and critical moment in your path to self-discovery. Don't let it overwhelm you. Really try to focus in and tune in to this experience. Level two, the lines between your body and your environment become blurred. I don't feel like I have a body. Everything just feels like it's just a part of me. Like I don't feel, I don't can. ah, oh, fuck. Why am I even trying to explain what is happening to me? As your consciousness becomes not a product of where your body is located, but it merges into the environment around you. Just hold each other. How many? And for real, I don't give a fuck about becoming a rapper, dog. I don't give a fuck about that. Just as long as my kids and my family is genuinely happy, son. <laughs> Genuine happiness, huh? It's all I want for everybody, though. Not even just my family. For my worst enemy, I wish that for my worst enemy, son. Genuine happiness, dog. This is an experience that has been reported for thousands of years all over the world through deep meditation techniques and through psychedelic medicines. Exactly. And that's one of the components of the LSD experience. The understanding that there is no they. There's no other. It is all one. Now in our culture we've been trained for individual differences to stand out. So you look at each person, immediately it is brighter, dumber, older, younger, richer, poorer, and we make all these dimensional dis distinctions, put them in categories and treat them that way. And we get so that we only see others as separate from ourselves in the ways in which they're separate. And one of the dramatic characteristics of the psychedelic experience is being with another person and suddenly seeing the ways in which they are like you, not different from you, and experiencing the fact, well, 
Yes, indeed, we are brothers in the true sense of that which is essence in you and which is essence in me is indeed one. I woke up and I suddenly got it. I understood suddenly how thought was just an illusory thing. Uh, and how thought is responsible for, if not all, most of the suffering we experience. And then I suddenly felt like I was looking at these thoughts from another perspective. And I wondered, who is it that's aware that I'm thinking? And suddenly I was thrown into this expansive, amazing feeling of freedom from myself, from my problems. I saw that I was bigger than what I do bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. I was no longer a fragment of the universe. I was the universe. Level three. This state of consciousness is the state of consciousness that people refer to as the astral plane. This is a state where your consciousness has completely dematerialized into the dimensions of creation itself. The astral world is where all things exist simultaneously. You can be whoever you want to be, you can go wherever you want to go, or be anything you want to be. All possibilities exist here in this dimension beyond time and space. The experience of this new state brings on the realization that your old identity, your previous identity, is faulty, it's useless, it is nothing more than a mirage and you can now explore the infinite possibilities and universes that exist with inside of you, that exist within your capacity of consciousness that you have right now as a human being. This realm has been thought to be the collective consciousness of the universe itself, the place where all knowledge and experience emerges. Level four. If you've made it this far, you are now experiencing an ego death. Some have experienced this as a void or as a bright light. This is the state that exists beyond thought itself. This, this experience is a complete loss of self. It's a complete loss of personality and any subjective association. You are pure awareness, pure bliss. This state is usually considered to be a life-defining moment for people. So you start to have this dissociative experience of where all that you become is awareness, is a point of awareness, that's all that's left. I remember the first time this happened to me as professor went and middle class boy went and pilot went and all of my games were like going off at the distance. I got this terrible panic because indeed I was going to cease to exist. And I got the panic, which is the panic that precedes the psychological death, because indeed Richard Alpert was dying at that point. And the panic was, no, stop, stop, I've got to hold on to something so I'll know who I am. So if you liked this video, I make uh, videos like this all the time. Uh, you can watch me take LSD and go live on you now and do a live broadcast. Uh, I answer all kind of crazy questions and sort of have the beginning stages of an ego death that I talked about in this video. All of my socials are in the description. You can uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and make sure to subscribe. And I have a whole psychedelic slash spiritual playlist on my YouTube. So if you go to my YouTube page, uh, you can watch all of them in a playlist. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. My name is Dakota. Uh, Hare Krishna.